the Timurid Empire was not at its best when its rule fell to Babur, whose father was a Turk and his mother was a Mongolian descendant of Genghis Khan. After unsuccessfully trying to recapture Timur's former territories, he set his sights on India. Beginning in 1519, he launched a series of probing attacks on the Punjab region, ruled by Ibrahim Lodi, Sultan of Delhi. In 1525 he saw his real opportunity and advanced to Delhi where he repelled a counter-attack by the Lodi forces. Hearing that the Sultan's main force of about 100,000 soldiers was approaching, he regrouped at Panipat, 85 kilometers north of Delhi to meet them. Babur's small army of about 10,000 men possessed the best qualities of his Turkic and Mongolian heritage. It consisted mainly of a mobile and disciplined force of horse archers and also learned the use of gunpowder weapons from the Ottomans, equipping its infantry with firearms and artillery. Knowing the numerical superiority of his enemy, Babur positioned the right flank next to the city of Panipat and protected the left with several trenches. He fortified the center by raising a barrier of 700 charts and behind him placed the cannons and the infantry with firearms. Ibrahim Lodi's army had about 100,000 men and 1,000 elephants, forces ten times greater than Babur's, and despite that he allowed him to fortify his position for eight days. Finally Lodi gave the order to attack sending his elephants and cavalry against Babur's positions. The vanguard of Babur's army, made up of horse archers, had to face this strong attack. The left wing suffered heavy casualties and had to withdraw behind the fortifications. Seeing this flank in trouble, Babur sent his reserve infantry to reinforce it. However, when the elephants arrived at the barrier, they fled terrified by the sound of the Mughal cannon shots and firearms. Despite this setback, the Lodi army continued its attack and more and more men advanced pushing the front ranks against the Mughals' fortifications. This is when Babur puts the most important part of his strategy, the Tulgama, into motion, throwing the Mughal right and left flanks forward and encircling the Lodi forces, except those to the rear. The Lodi army, Huddled in a compact mass and facing gunfire in front and a hail of arrows from the flanks, suffered heavy losses. The Mughal center advanced from the fortifications against the disorganized enemy pressing it further. In a desperate charge, Lodi himself was shot down and the entire army fled. The Mughal cavalry pursued their enemies causing great mortality among them. The Battle of Panipat was one of the first engagements in India in which firearms and cannons were used. Babur's strategy, which combined nomadic maneuverability with modern weapons, destroyed the much larger enemy army. This defeat, and the death of Lodi himself, 
marked the end of his dynasty and the annexation of the Delhi Sultanate to Babur's domain. At the Battle of Panipat, the Mughal Empire was born, which would come to dominate the Indian subcontinent.